Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video was previously recorded. I'm pretty sure I recorded it in August and it is a soft plastic video. Two videos ago, I asked what type of videos were y'all's favorite. I got a whole bunch of soft plastic vi video answers. How I feel like I didn't say that right. I got a whole bunch of y'all that said that you liked the soft plastic video. So I had this one saved. I was gonna post it in Vlogmas. You know the whole spill, the whole spill about Vlogmas. It didn't really work out, but we were still posting in December and we're gonna pick up and kick off, get back to running when it warms back up upside with the fishing video. Today's video is a pre-recorded Vlogmas video is a soft plastic lure video you've never seen it before so make sure you watch it all the way through and also we have a giveaway in today's video we have a monster bass bag full of monster bass baits i think this is actually the first ever monster bass bag i used on the channel you're gonna get a whole bunch of baits out of this bag um i've replaced all the lures that were in the video there were only like a couple that i used out of the bag so all the baits are in here and just because i've already opened the bag you know what we're gonna do we're gonna add some more baits to the bag just just because i love y'all and i know that if you're watching this you love me because i mean how could you not that's a joke but um we're gonna take some stuff off the wall and we're gonna add it to the bag let's see how about this i haven't used this yet i haven't even opened this yet it still has the security sticker on the side i got it out of dicks and Ox. we're gonna put that in the bag that is a live target popping frog how about that maybe if y'all want it this is a berkeley scale i broke when i caught that big cart earlier in the year i'm not going to give you all that i need to take that back to walmart and try to replace it with another one um let's see what else do i have what about up here i never i put this stuff up here and i don't even think i've like touched any of it let's see what i have up here some generals yeah those are juice how about some generals Cinnamon purple. Yeah, those are going in the bag. Some king worms. I kind of want those. I have another pack. Oh, some big flukes. Some magnum flukes. Y'all love those. We're going to put those in the bag as well. Big magnum flukes. We're going to use those. Those are good year round. And like, you know, flukes are always a juice bait. So if you upsize the size of the bait, you're going to automatically catch bigger fish. Um, All this stuff in this wall is open. I don't want to give away any open pack. Uh, some lizards. One of my favorite soft plastic lures. If not my favorite, I'm really liking a stick bait right now, but Lizards, let's pick out one more off the wall. Let's see, what do y'all want? Comment it down below in the comments, what do y'all want? I was missing a little bit on this giveaway. I knew what I want. I know next week's giveaway, I have next week's giveaway. I probably flashed it a little bit already in the video, but next week's giveaway is already here. I was just kind of missing this week's. Then we have one more giveaway after this, and I really don't know what y'all want, but I want to give away something big for the last one. I might give away like a house or a car. Probably not, but that would be cool if I could. Maybe someday in the future. Let's see, what else do we have? There's some clear fishing lures that I've made that I'll give away, because I, I made a video with these and I only caught one fish on them, but I've caught fish on these before. I kind of ran out of time uh, on the day that I went out fishing with these. So I'm gonna give these away. These are some clear generals that I made and they're gonna go in the Maxent bag too. I feel, I mean, why not? I feel like y'all, everybody always asks for like, hey, are you gonna ever sell your lures? Are you gonna ever sell your lures? Why not give away some in a Vlogmas giveaway or December giveaway, I guess not. Same rules as last time to enter the giveaway. First, comment. What is your personal best bass? That's what we're gonna do. Last time, it was what type of videos do you like? This time, what is your personal best bass? Second, like the video. Third, be subscribed to the channel. And if you want a couple extra entries, if you repost a screenshot of me doing this on your Instagram story, I'll repost it and also it'll give you an extra giveaway in today's giveaway or in this video's giveaway. Tell all your friends about it. Tell your mom, your dad, your sister, your auntie, your uncles, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for the support on the channel. Watch the video all the way through. Thank you. If I had a dollar for every time I've done that in the past like week or two, at least I know if anybody ever tries to break in this truck, it's gonna let everybody know, loud as can be. But yeah guys, so it is currently August. I know you might be a little confused, but it's raining. Um, if you remember the August videos, you know, I probably complained a lot about the rain and it's just something that has been going on here. It's just that time. One of those things that can either help or hurt the bite. It's not rain that you can't fish in, but if I'm not already out fishing, normally I don't start in the rain, you know, normally I try to find something else productive to do. So guys, with that being said, I remember the feeling of last December, the fishing was tough and the video ideas were not coming to me since it's raining here. I said, I'll be a little proactive and try to get a little bit of a head start on Vlogmas. I want to do 31 days, bring out 31 days worth of content for the month of December. So that's what we're doing today. We are actually on the way to go buy some clamps for some fishing lure molds. Now I know it's kind of probably gonna be a little backwards because I probably already have them by now and you've seen them used before, but we're gonna go to Home Depot, pick up some clamps for some molds. Maybe look around, see if we can find something, maybe put in the lures or something like that out at Home Depot. Not really sure how that'll go, but 
we're gonna try we're gonna see if we can't come up with something and after we do that we are going to make the fishing lures but we need clamps so we can use all of our molds stay tuned hopefully we can find something juice i think maybe if we spray some wd-40 in the plastic all it might make some might make some pretty neat fishing lures we probably shouldn't do that but you never know who knows they're missing like the sweet spot clamp like i think this one would be a pretty good size oh wait you can adjust it on the side ah i think we might go with this one so this way we could do three and then i want to get like one of the small handheld ones but i don't see a good size of one of those so i'm gonna have to make something work we'll figure it out after four minutes of research we're gonna go with the four pack $22, $24, but I mean it's cheaper than buying two individuals because it'll be $22 plus tax. Well, I guess not, but you get four, so you basically get two free. All right, guys, we have the clamps, and now back to the fishing sauna. <laughs> We're going to go make some fishing. Hopefully the clamps are big enough and they work. I think these clamps should work on these molds. Hopefully they hold it still and the plastic doesn't come out of the sides of the molds. We're gonna go ahead and start shooting plastic. So I have this plastic from an uh, earlier video I made and I kinda wanna just start off with it just to kinda test the clamps. So this video isn't gonna be all about these clamps guys, I promise, but we're just gonna start off with this plastic just cause I already have it and we'll try and see how it does with these molds. And I wanna do all four of them for the whole video today. I decided to add a little bit of yellow to this. I figured it wouldn't change up the color too much, so that's why we did it. It might actually make it a little bit more interesting since took out of the microwave. It's only been in there for about two minutes, so it's probably gonna need about another minute or so. Sometimes when you use bigger pieces of plastic, it just takes a little bit longer to really heat up. But as of right now, it really doesn't look bad at all. I think dark and light colors normally mix up pretty well. So we shouldn't get like a poop color. We should be good now. I have no clue what this color is probably gonna look like. It's gonna be interesting, whatever it looks like. I think it's some pretty cool colored flakes in it. So hopefully it looks cool. We're gonna try to do the stick baits too. Hopefully these will work. Probably not. Definitely didn't have enough of the stick bait. I think we can probably go ahead and open this one because this one definitely didn't fill up. We can throw that plastic back into the cup. We'll just throw all of that back in here. That's the cool thing about this is if you mess up a little bit, you can just put it back in the cup and try again. Like you don't. You never really lose any plastic unless you just lose the lure in the water or something like that. So it's always cool to be able to. It's pretty forgiving. I mean, if you burn yourself, that might not be too. <laughs> that might not be too forgiving. But other than that, doing this is pretty. It's pretty forgiving. It's hard to mess it all the way up. Let's see. Oh yeah, this juice. Honestly, that yellow didn't really affect it too much. It still looks. You can tell it's in there. It just has like a little yellow highlight to it. These are some big crawls right here. All right, so lure number one looked good. Let's see, I think this is the lizard. Oh yeah, those are definitely juice. This one has to do good. Looks pretty good to me. The last one's the bugs. Those also look pretty good. I love these molds, but the one thing I don't like about them is they're so big like there. I mean, bass will eat this size lure all day, but I wish they were like a little bit, 
I wish they were a little bit smaller. I wish they were about maybe like a four inch. This is probably about a six inch bug. All right guys, so we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna do that. All right guys, I wanna do that process one more time, but I have a couple more baits that I wanna melt. This one, I believe these are actually like the green pumpkin that we started with. These yellow ones look so good. I made these earlier in the year. And we're gonna throw in all of this red plastic just to go ahead and use it up. So we don't, normally when I have plastic, it just kind of sits out and you never know, it might come up. We might come out with a cool color, so we'll just throw that in the microwave and see what it comes out as. All right, guys, so we just took that out of the microwave, the red that we had, it really took that over. I think this one should look pretty cool also. I'm just happy we didn't get like a really dark, ugly color. We got actually a pretty nice looking color. Right, we're gonna try the stick base one more time. Still not enough. First. Oh, that's a pretty good color. It's like a candy. I feel like I've seen this color before. Like a big company makes it and they call it like candy apple or something like that. But that looks pretty cool to me. I will 150% fish that. And the lizards. Lizards look pretty juiced too. Last but not least, the crawls. Those look pretty good. Now we have to just let them dry. I would take these out to the pond right now and fish them if I could. All right, guys. So the main, the first reason why I was going to start this video today, do this video today, is I want to remelt these old lures. I want to show y'all how. I do it. I keep this truck, I keep this truck in my cup. I keep this cup in my truck just for days like today when it's rainy and I keep all of my fishing lures in it that haven't caught, or that I've caught fish on. So what I do, what the plan is for this cup is once a month or so, I just melt all the lures down and normally I just give them out to friends or give them away, but I figured why not show it on video today? My Berkeley ruler probably shouldn't go into the microwave. Yeah, sounds like we might have something other than a fishing lure in here, maybe. Let's not put that screw in the microwave either. <laughs> Feel through to make sure there's no hooks or nothing in here. There's another screw right there. It's probably a good thing we look through all this stuff before we just threw it in there. All right. All right, so we have all of our lures and we're gonna put them in the microwave and hopefully they melt. Cause sometimes when you have plastic from all different companies that melts at different speeds so hopefully we can get it all to melt nice and together i'm not sure if i've said that already but we're just going to reset it we took all the baits that i keep in my car and we put them all into the cup and now we're trying to make fishing lures out of them or we're not trying to we are making fishing lures out of them all right guys we just got our molds done let's see what they look like Oh, juice, what is that? I don't know what color this is. It's like, it's not black and blue, but because there's more than just black in it. Oh, it's like a pretty cool watermelon color. It doesn't look bad at all. Then it has like some really fine flake in it, like super, super small, smaller than I've ever used. We're gonna open up all of them and see what they all look like. I kind of like that. Normally when you make them, or normally when you mix a whole bunch of colors, that's the color you end up with. It's like this kind of dirty green color. All right, guys, so we got all of our lures made. This bug right here in this craw actually takes up a lot of plastic. So a lot of the plastic, we started off with like probably 50 to 100 lures, and then now we have six new ones. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably more like cost-worthy, time-effective to make the stick baits just because you get 10 versus six. But it's cool to have something different, though. But these look really good. We're definitely going to have to go take these for fish. Guys, I'm gonna take all these lures that I've made over the past year and just do like an hour long live on YouTube and just fish all of them. I'm gonna have to find like a pond that's just stacked full of bass and after I catch one, just 
throw it off to the side and switch lures. Not throw the bass off to the side, throw the lure off to the side. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this today down in the comments. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know. I appreciate all the support on the channel, guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. Thank you all for the support. All right, so thank you guys so much for hanging out on today's video. We got some new lights in here, if you can't tell. Earlier, it was a little bit more illuminated than it normally is. I'm happy with the new lights. I want to get like a couple more to hang up in here. And also, we put some Christmas lights up there, so it's all Christmassy now. But that's all for today's video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a great day. See you later. Peace. What do you think about the baits we made, too? Uh, that last color, I'm going to call it the Forbidden Black and Blue. When I was editing the video this morning, I was like, that's a really good color for that or name for that. And I said it looks like watermelon and it has like a little bit of watermelon color. I was looking at it in the video and I was like, that looks nothing like watermelon. But then I watched it back and I was like, okay, it has a little bit of like a watermelon tint. You had to just be here to see it. But I appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. See you later. Fish them hard. Peace. Damn.